Hey YouTube, Wes here checking in. Well, this past Sunday, October 6th, there was a record show here in Gainesville, Florida. It's a record show that happens twice a year now. Uh, it's put on by Arrows Aim Records and uh, they, they have a nice, nice sort of smallish venue for a record show but they get you know 20 or so vendors to show up and sell records and it's it's always an enjoyable time and uh, I was lucky enough this time that Brad over at H2 Vinyl made the drive up from Orlando to attend the record show with me uh, so we spent the day together had lunch went to a couple record stores made a day of it had a really great time and uh, yeah, it was a fun day I will say that I did start out making a video at the beginning of the day and then really just didn't keep up with it. So unfortunately, I don't really have anything to show you as far as uh, us digging together. I will post up, a, well, we'll go ahead and put it up now, a video or a photo of Brad and I with Bo Diddley at the Bo Diddley Plaza there. Uh, just want to do a selfie to commemorate the day there but we all, we both had a really good day found a lot of cool stuff and I'm looking forward to uh, seeing his video and seeing more in depth of the things he found because I found some really cool stuff so let's go ahead and get into it I want to share with you what I found um, we met up at nine o'clock right when the record show opened it's a five dollar entrance for the first two hours and uh, so we get we got right to it uh, right in the door we got to a booth that had dollar records bunch of dollar record bins uh, we both spent a good time there digging through and I think both of us found a few things uh, I, I I'll, as always I'm a bargain bargain hunter and I'm always looking in the dollar bins and the cheap bins for interesting stuff um, so this first one here I got just caught my eye uh, and that is John Clemmer with magic moment or Magic and Movement, sorry about that, 1974. Um, yeah, should be, should be some uh, good some good jazz here. I've seen John Clemmer in the past, never picked up anything from him. Just thought, you know, I've been kind of into sax lately, and yeah, what the hell, let's give it a try. So pick that up for a dollar, give it a try. If it's no good, it was only a dollar. Uh, this next one is a Gordon Lightfoot album I do already have, but this one happens to be sealed, so I thought, what the heck, for a buck, sealed Gordon Lightfoot album. This is Shadows. Yeah, Shadows. Uh, 19... when is it just released? 1982. So a late Gordon Lightfoot Avenue uh, album. Uh, this has 14 karat gold on it. Um, I think that was the... The one big hit on here uh, but yeah grew up listening to Gordon Lightfoot he was one of my mom's or is my mom's favorite artist and I hated him at the time but now that I'm older I, pre I can really appreciate his music so uh, to find a sealed one that's pretty cool and I do have a Gordon Lightfoot collection uh, and then the last one I got from the dollar bin uh, this is 10cc I guess this is their self-titled album with the uh, song rubber bullets on it and unfortunately, I did not recognize this at the time. The one bad thing about this record show is that it's in a very, very, very dark room. I mean, it's pretty much pitch black just about at some places. Uh, it's, it's really bad. And I did not notice that this is taped all the way around the edges or around at least around the side and the top there. So unfortunately, yeah, this is a little bit rougher than I thought. Uh, but the vinyl itself looks playable, so, you know, for a buck, it may not be a keeper, but it'll be a, a nice listen. So, that's 10cc's self-titled. Okay, then moving on after that, that's definitely the uh, cheapest I got away with for the rest of the day. Spent, spent some more money. Uh, this next one came from a, an, another booth uh, that had some really good stuff. Uh, I've seen this guy at the St. Augustine Records show before. And he always has really good stuff, really organized, but also really well priced. You're not going to find bargains there, uh, but always has some interesting stuff. And this is an album I needed an upgrade to, and this finally found an upgrade to it. And that is the uh, Rotary Connections self-titled album. Um, was this 1968 or 69, somewhere around there? Uh, yeah, just really killers, folk, rock, R&B all that together uh, just great stuff yeah rotary connection if you haven't checked them out 
if you're if you're into 60s kind of stuff you know you probably you've probably heard them before but this is a uh, tough album to find in really nice condition and this is this is I would call it near mint it's really really nice uh, so pick that up for ten dollars uh, this next one ooh, I think they were three dollars this was a uh, yeah, I think the seller, they were $3 or three for five. I think they were doing also or maybe two for five. Jeez, I'm, see, I'm forgetting already. This is why I'm making this video now. I didn't write it down, uh, but this is Mike Oldfield with Islands. Mike Oldfield I did not have from 1987, so a pretty late one for him. Uh, but yeah, that was a nice, a nice find for a couple bucks. Uh, this next one I picked up was from a seller that uh, I think he said he was from Georgia, came down from Georgia. He had a lot of uh, blues and soul and funk and stuff like that, some jazz. Uh, I picked up this Best of Freddie King, uh, a blues artist I don't have anything from. So I thought, yeah, to get a Best of, check it out. He had some $5 bins and this, was, this came out of his $5 bin, so I thought $5 was a good price to pay for that. On Shelter Records, so we got Freddie King. Uh, these next two are from the seller that owns uh, Wolfson Audio. It's called Wolfson Audio Equipment, but they it's also a record store. It's a giant warehouse. I've been there before. Been there. It's been a couple of years since I've been there. Um, it's in Jacksonville. It's a giant place. If you're ever in Jacksonville, it's definitely the place to go. Um, but he brought down a couple of bins, had a really small amount at the show there. It was kind of interesting, Not didn't bring too much, uh, but brought several bins and they were all half price of whatever they were marked. So I picked this one up. It was originally marked 26, so I got it for 13. And this is the 2017 album by Lord, titled Melodrama, uh, her most recent album. Something I listen to digitally, something I've had on my Amazon wish list forever. I've been wanting to get this. Um, finally got around to getting it. Um, so yeah, really, really cool one from Lord. This was sealed when I got it. And there's the insert on this one. Just kind of a couple photos, kind of an odd insert. No kind of information there. Just, just a couple photos. And then the, uh, the inner sleeve. Uh, this one has... Another photo there, and then some lyrics as well. So, even though it's been out for a couple years now, the most recent album by Lord uh, picked it up for a good price. So, was glad to have found that. Um, and then the other one I got from him, it was originally marked sixteen dollars, so I paid eight dollars for this. Uh, this is Method Man with Tikal uh, Tikal Zero, the prequel, which from two thousand four, I think this was from. I had never heard this. I don't remember this coming out. I never heard it. I don't know what happened. Uh, for some reason, I missed this one. Uh, so yeah, this is going to be a new one from me. I do, do do normally like Method Man, and I do have a lot of Method Man on CD. I don't really have much, if any, on vinyl. But yeah, a new one for me, and for 8 bucks, I was going to go ahead and check this one out. So pick that one up. Um, and then I believe this is the last one I picked up at the record show itself. Um, had twenty dollars left in my pocket, you know. Thought, what the heck? Let's let's see what we can find for twenty dollars, and found this record. I've been looking for a nice copy of this forever. I've seen it in thrift stores before, thrashed. I've seen it in record stores before, kind of higher priced, more than I wanted to pay at the time. Found this here at the record show for fourteen dollars, and thought, yeah, that the time is right. Uh, Talking Heads, Fear of Music, with the original uh, embossed sleeve, diamond plate sleeve there. Really, really super clean copy of this. Really, really nice. I thought $14. That's a that's a pretty good, pretty fair price for this. I know it, you know it tends it tends to get some good money uh, when I've seen it anyway. As I said, I've been looking for it for a number of years now and never seem to find a good deal or a a reasonably playable copy of it so to find a nice copy like this was was nice there's the inner sleeve and then lyrics on the back uh, so yeah that was a nice uh, final pickup from the record show itself and then after that we went to have lunch 
Uh, I wanted to t I wanted to go to the pizza place here in town, Big Lou's, that I like to go to, uh, but they, on Sundays they don't open till four, which I didn't I didn't remember. So we went across the street and went to a place called Mojo Barbecue. They got a couple locations. I think they're I think they're in Tampa, and they have a location in St. Augustine. They may have an, a, Saint, a location in St. Pete, maybe. Um, yeah, sort of a small little Florida operation. Really good barbecue. I think I think Brad really enjoyed it and yeah, had some had some good barbecue. Got got some rest and uh, talked about some of our our findings and whatnot and talked about music and had a good time. So after we went to the uh, the barbecue place, we walked. It's it's about a block over from that uh, to Here Again Records probably my favorite record store here in town just because they mainly sell new stuff so it's a place I can go if I want a new release I know I can get it there and you know I, I do when I am not sort of doing goodwill and thrift store you know thrift other thrift stores and you know other kind of budget kind of places I like to I like to buy new vinyl so that's where I go I don't buy I don't buy too many used things in record stores um, yeah, it's kind of weird how I do that. You know, I buy a lot of a lot of stuff from Goodwill, and then a lot of twenty and thirty dollar records from from the new from the new section there at, at here again. Uh, but yeah, picked up a couple things. I actually did pick up something from their used section. Uh, we talked about earlier in the day, kind of the things we were looking for. Uh, and at the record show, I was looking for Larry Coriel records, and I just was not finding Larry Coriel at all at the record show. Somebody I've enjoyed in the past what I have in the collection kind of like thinking I, I haven't found any in a while I want some more I want something new to listen to um, so there at here again for five dollars I found the real great escape by Larry Coriel on Vanguard from 1973 uh, so yeah the time is right on this this should be pretty darn good and the Vanguard stuff is pretty good so yeah looking forward to listening to that one so that was a good find I mean, I thought I was just going to get away with only spending five dollars for this, and then this album caught my eye, and I was like, "Wow, that looks kind of interesting." I like the I like the presentation of that. I I brought it up on Spotify and streamed a little bit of it, and like, yeah, that's oh, that's good. Um, so this is an album that was actually released on my birthday this year. Somehow I missed it. I did go to the record store on my birthday. I don't know if maybe the vinyl was delayed. Um, this might have come out around the time we were moving, so there's no telling, but somehow I missed it. Uh, but this is a collaboration between Karen O and Danger Mouse titled Sun Lux, or not Sun Lux, Lux Prima. As I said, it was released on March 15th, 2019, on my birthday. Um, so yeah, it's Danger Mouse doing the music and then Karen O singing. Really, really awesomely beautiful sort of ambient electronic music with with really nice vocals a really beautiful sound a really beautiful packaging I don't know if you can tell but this has almost like a like a fabric pasted on fabric onto a thick cardstock like a like a tip on jacket but uh, um, tipped on with like a almost a textured fabric finish um, and then it has this foil foil uh, just foil leaf on it that sort of is a uh, iridescent I guess is the, is the correct term for that so it sort of has a gives a rainbow color effect as the light hits off of it really beautiful pretty really beautiful uh, came with a uh, came with a sort of OB strip to it um, and then it, the packaging just keeps getting you know keeps giving on this one. Um, it does come with a poster. I will try to show you at least some of here. A giant poster, two-sided poster. Um, on the first side, we kind of get like a almost like a promotional poster. Karen Owen, Danger Mouse, Lux Prima. You can see that. Uh, and then on the back side, you get again that sort of astral kind of pattern kind of thing with the song lyrics and song titles and stuff. Really, really nice. Really nice poster there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show this or not, but inside the gatefold there's a there's some sort of astral uh, just just 
some more artwork that continues on inside the gatefold, which is really nice. And this side is bluish, and this other side is pinkish. And then the vinyl comes out here. Um, it's sort of just a inner sleeve with some more spacey kind of patterns on it. Uh, this is the black vinyl pressing of this. There was an orange marble vinyl pressing of this, uh, but yeah, since this came out earlier this year, uh, I'm sure those are all gone at this point and pressed at RTI. So that is nice, nice pressing of this. Uh, so yeah, just kind of a, a blind buy. Uh, as I was sort of checking this out, Brad, Brad sort of perked up and he was like, oh yeah, that's good, get that. So I was like, oh, okay. Brad, Brad said it's good and I'm, I'm already digging it, so it, it, must be, it must be meant to be. So yeah, that was a cool find and uh, thanks for the recommendation, Brad. And I, did, I definitely am enjoying spinning this. I've spun it a couple of times already, so definitely liking that a lot. Um, and then after we uh, left there, uh, here again, we went to back to sort of towards where the record show was, um, to Arrows Aim Records, the other record store. They mainly do used vinyl there. They do have some new vinyl, but very little. It's mainly a used store. Pretty good inventory, pretty good prices. Um, I did find one more Larry Coriel album, and this was in their $5 bin. This is the 11th House, the 11th House featuring Larry Coriel from 1975. Yeah, so, yeah, got, got a couple more Larry Coriel albums added to the uh, listening stacks that day, so I got some new stuff to listen to. Um, and then right when we were getting ready to say our goodbyes and wishing Brad a safe trip home, he said, hey, I got something for you, and pulled this out of his bag, and I was just blown away. It's always it's always great to get VCLT, but it's, it's, uh, it's awesome to get it in person. Um, and he gave me Let It Be by The Replacements. So a classic album. I know a lot of people in the vinyl community love this group. They, they, you know, this is a highly regarded album. Something I've been curious about, something I just haven't checked out before. I'm really glad uh, you gave this to me, Brad. Thank you very much. I've really been been enjoying spinning it and listening and getting into it and learning more about the replacements. So, yeah, fun songs, very, uh, very sort of. It sort of has a punk vibe to it. Um, it's it's very youthful. They're talking about sort of teenage kind of things. It's it's very fun. It's very funny. Uh, yeah, just really cool. Really been enjoying this. You know, Tommy gets his tonsils out. Uh, Gary's got a boner. Just yeah, just fun and punky and you know, teenage angsty without being whiny, I guess is the best way to explain it. I find a lot of that stuff can be just kind of whiny and mopey and this isn't that. It's it's really, really good. So yeah, definitely, definitely thank you very much, Brad, for, for giving me this. It, it's a great gift and I really appreciate it and appreciate to spend the day with you. It was, it was really nice for you to come up and visit and hang out for the day. I had a really good time. I'm looking forward to hanging out again. Um, I definitely want to get down and check out Triangle Vinyl. I know that's a that's a store in that Orlando area that I haven't been to, and I think I'm going to like it. And um, yeah, so we're going to have to get back down to Orlando soon. Uh, I'll let you know when that happens, and maybe we can get Tim to Tim to come hang out too. That would be awesome. So yeah, that was a that was a really fun day of digging at the record show with Brad, hanging out with Brad for the day. Uh, yeah, just doing doing a fun VC meetup, hanging out. And uh, that's that's what I found for the day. So I had had a really good time. Found some really good stuff. Uh, so thank you for watching. Have a great day, great night, whenever it is you're watching. Remember, there is no bad music, only music you don't like. Have a great day. Cheers. <laughs>